G'day everyone. So today we're going to get started with Code Combat. So the very first thing uh, we need to do is create our account so we can get back to wherever we uh, get up to later. So click Create Account and I'll just delete information I have here. So I can do something like my name at ucodemy.com. Uh, use your real email address, that way you can get your account back later if you need to. Uh, create a password, just make something up here, and a name uh, that isn't in use. If you do have one that's already used, it gives you a recommendation of what to change it to. So I can just do Johnson uh, Jim and sign up. And away I go. Um, Chrome wants to save my password. So now that we're signed in, the next thing we need to do is go back to our course. And this is the getting started link. Um, and you'll see a link here to join the Ucodemy clan. So after you've signed in, you can click on this link and it will take you back to Code Combat uh, with the clan and click on join clan to join the Ucodemy clan so that we can uh, track progress as you go. So you can see now um, I've added my other profile in to the clan and you'll see lots more as everyone starts adding their themselves to the clans. So now you can close this window and go back to the uh, main code combat window. And so we go ahead and click on play to go in. And the very first place we can go is to Kithgard Dungeon. So we want to click on play over there. And so it's going to give us a first place to go. And we can um, answer one of their surveys so that this stops popping up. And go ahead and uh, get started. And we want to pick our character. I'm going to pick the guy. And we also want to go ahead and choose our language. Um, we're doing mostly JavaScript, so choose that unless your instructor has giving you directions to pick a different one. So we'll go ahead and we're going to equip our boots that we have available for us and we're going to go ahead and start to play. Now you have a number of different things sort of coming up in different areas here. Um, we're going to go over each of those and you can see it's going to give us some directions. These are the uh, functions that we can use and telling us where we put in the code that we want to use. So to get started, this is the timeline and pretty much for every one of them that we have, we want to reset back to the beginning, um, put in the code that we think we need to do to uh, add to finish the level. Right now it's given us, right, given us directions like uh, to help us along as well. So we can go this dot move down. So what that means is we're going to do a move right first, then we're going to do a move down. And if we run now, we'll see that he stops here. So I know that we need one more move right after we move down and semicolon for that. And I can click play here or run. Um, either of those uh, I think work. And here is the area that tells you the, the goals for the level. And this is the uh, current method that we're running. So we can click on run to see if we've been able to get the gem. And it'll tell us up here whether we have success or not. So we're all done. And here we get all our bonus for that level and we can move on to do the next one. So once you click continue, you'll see another zone open up and we can go into that zone and play that as well. So that gives you an idea of like how to get through the different levels. So enjoyed Cone Combat and let us know how far you get.